goal is Antarctica. You just spent two whole days on the open ocean waiting for this moment. You go to sleep knowing that the next day you'll land on the seventh continent. When you arrive, how does it feel? How cold is it? What animals will you see? Let me show you what happened on the fourth day of our 10 day cruise. The day we woke up at and then landed on Antarctica. And we'll see if I can convince you that this is something that you have to do. Let's go. Just waking up to our... Breakfast. Breaky. With a, not a bad view. Oh, Jess. Come here. Hi, balcony buddies. Hi, balcony buddies. Balcony buddies. Balcony buddies. Did so you work? Yes. Oh, you look so excited. All right, kids. Happy Christmas, Christmas everyone. Uh, first Antarctic cruise. Oh, yeah. Yeah, boy. Oh, Jesus. Oh, It's one small step for Kira. <laughs> one giant leap for Ireland kind. It's our little penguin buddies. Mm. They're collecting rocks. Do they get laid out of the rocks? Do they get their rocks on after they drop the rocks off? They have to provide for their family. Oh, the rocks are the providing for the family. That is a nice rock, man. She says no, you know. Yeah, so we learned about the mating rituals of penguins. Now, as everyone knows about the coacula, the single hole for most birds. But did you know the penguin male and female only have one hole? Which means that for coitus purposes, the holes touch. Bit of gentle rubbing and then, whew, baby penguin. So the supply boat is stuck and we are left on Antarctica to eat each other. <laughs> I am neither the skinniest nor the fattest, so I think I won't be eaten. Back, I want you to maybe grab the rope on the side, so we're going to have to go a bit further fast. As you can record, you grab your phone. But... I got this! This is Thank you. 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 Thank you.
pictures. Amazing face. Yes. Oh, I'll take a picture. See, it's really wow. That is transparent. Does he have a name yet, mate? Crystal. Crystal. Ah. Just chopping up the, uh, you know, ocean ice. Oh, it's spaghetti. Well done, mate. Oh, pretty baby. Hi, I'm in Antarctica. <laughs> I didn't see you there. But this is Antarctica, and this is me with a beer. Beer. Yeah. Where's that little beer in here? Yeah. Oh, I don't <laughs> So I guess at this point, there's a few things I want to say. First of all, Jesus fucking Christ. These men are fucking ridiculous. To think that yesterday when I saw one iceberg, I was like freaking out, and I was because that was awesome. But like, I don't know if you can see how big these are. And the fact that there's, they look small, but big icebergs there as well. Like they're everywhere. Like this is, this is amazing. And I want to just say that like today was probably, it is the best day in eight months. And it's, it's probably not going to show in the photos. It's probably not going to show in the videos, but sense of scale, like everything here is fucking enormous. Again, there's, there's almost no point talking about it or showing it, but just trying to express gratitude for how fucking cool this is. And we went on two boat rides or penguins and seals so gorgeous and i thought antarctica bunch of ice and rocks cheap tour got to give it a go no this is special this is gorgeous i don't know man i i'm gonna get another perspective because the mountain that i'm looking at now is fucking huge this is ridiculous one more i'm gonna I don't know it's, if you can get a deal to go here, but add it to your list, think about it. And I don't know if this is just really good weather, but Christ, look over here, mountains, Antarctic mountains, and over here, surrounding us. And again, I would have done this, I would have done this in a nine bed dorm. I would have done this, you know, with that food included. Everything else has been a nice add on, but what you're here for is this, like this is, this is gorgeous how lucky that we can see this. This is phenomenal. So I don't know how many times I've uh, spoken about how fucking cool this room is, but look at this. This is on the TV in the hotel room and it is a camera on the front of the boat. So let's say I'm in bed trying to decide, should I get up and, uh, you know, check out the view? I've got a few options. I can look out the window of this fucking insane room, or I can look at the TV and the camera. Not only that, that's the front, you can see the back. At this point in time, the back is kind of cool. But, um, mate, this is just, it's just too much. Look at that, iceberg. Alrighty, cheers for watching. Subscribe to see the next part of this Antarctica adventure, which trust me, gets much better. For those who don't know, my name's Dan and I'm currently solo backpacking. It's been over 10 months and right now I'm in Paraguay, which is my 65th country. Who knows where I'll end up, but wherever I do end up, I'll continue to share my adventures. Cheers.